Now, this is Pastor Rick right here, and I'm sure y'all that you've seen him on the other show before. And right about now, um, what a wonderful story he's about to tell us because he goes to Israel every uh, every year, and um, he's going to tell you about it. Here you go. Well, Benny and your listeners and watchers, when I went to seminary years ago in preparation for 20 years of ministry in the Episcopal Church, I fell in love with the Holy Land, with Israel and Palestine, and that part of the world where those events occurred. And when the war between the Israelis and the Palestinians heated up and went on and on year after year, I determined at one point, having served my 20 years in ministry and taken a doctorate in psychotherapy, psychology, that I could use my skills to make peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians in the Holy Land and make a contribution to peace throughout the world. So I took a year of training in peace building and began to go every spring for a month to the Holy Land, hooking up with an agency centered in Bethlehem called A Tent for All Nations, or Tent of Nations for short. And the Tent of Nations people have a hundred acre farm on a mountain top in Nahalin, just outside Bethlehem. They wanted to turn into a peace center uh, for education, for negotiation, and a peace village to demonstrate how peaceful conflict resolution and consensus building can bring peace among all of the faiths and the varieties of humans. So it's taken us six years to come up with enough space on that farm, enclosed indoor space, basically a big peace tent, to conduct classes and to conduct negotiations between the parties the Israelis and the Palestinians. And so this summer, I'll be going for a week at the end of March to publicize that educational program, which we're planning in June and July, the end of June, most of July, teaching peace, inner peace, interpersonal peace, international peace, for in five day intervals, repeating each week, but with a different theme in accord with what's happening on the farm. Harvest, a children's camp or program, and other themes. So, that's the story in a nutshell. And we plan, the year following, to call for a, a kind of world Woodstock, you might say. Very good. A celebration of peace in Bethlehem with music, with food, with opportunities for the warring parties, Israeli and Palestinian, to come together at Tent of Nations in the country and for others to celebrate the possibilities of peace building, of forgiveness and tolerance and rapprochement, that being a French word, for getting together again for reconciliation so that we can see unity prevail at last and among Jews, Christians, and Muslims in the Holy Land. And the Holy Land will again be holy at last. You know, we want to thank you so much for what a wonderful thing that you're doing. And the last thing that you just said uh, six months from now is that where you, you, you're going to be planning that. And we hope that uh, that come about. And uh, we'll do all we can, uh, Chris, Catman, and Russ, my wife here, Margarita. We'll do all we can to help you to, with this. And um, I have other musicians that you said you want, might want me to invite. And that's what I'm going to do. And uh, you just keep doing what you're doing. And I'm going to say to the audience, you know, if you don't believe in God, 
you can believe what you want to believe in, but I just want to say, ourselves, we don't have the power to give ourselves a second of breath. Uh, anything except for God can do this. And I just want to just say a little prayer and just thank you, Jehovah God, for having such wonderful people, people that wants to go and put theirself in danger like you do. Don't worry about it. And, and to try to bring peace. And we all could bring peace if we just did one thing. If we just try to learn, forget, forgive people and love each other.